Hey there guys, Skibby here for ROM Skibby Ziggs Gaming coming to you from Tutorial Land with Tutorial Love. And today guys, I was trying to uh, look at the best ever playlist and I recognized a few things that weren't on it. As you can see, I'm trying to work on an industrial smelter, a uh, smart furnace, either way, long story short, pig farm. Uh, pig farms aren't as easy to make uh, super awesome as cows and chickens. They're a lot more difficult to make full auto. Uh, that said, this uh, looks to be the best opportunity for the best pig farm. This is going to be able to give you all you need for breeding and everything. It does come in at semi-auto, but long story short is you breed the pigs. You could go up here, go up the ladder. So all you got to do is press the button. Once you press the button, make sure that you flick this lever right here. This is going to make it so that the babies can come out easy enough. Hit, the, hit them with the carrots. Once you feel like you've hit all the carrot love that you're ready to go, you go ahead and turn this guy off. Come back down here and you'll see what happens when we flick this door. The baby pigs come down so now we have a mix of baby pigs and daddy pigs and we're gonna press this button this button will go in and kill off the parents the parents will be there we're good to go then when these guys grow we could do it again as you can see we have this stuff this is because I killed a few pigs uh, in this farm in the first place but long story short this thing works pretty smooth I am giving it best ever but I reserve the right to you know go into pig farms again uh, again out of all the hunts you know it's a little bit tricky so for this one here guys let's just go for 301 likes if you're one of those first 301 people to like this video let me know in the comments below and you can be down like MLG MLG was sixth I am trying to do earlier people now just to kind of give everybody a reason to jump on the notification squad no time to comment just go ahead and subscribe and you can get a shout out like elite quick gadget and tyson so uh yeah i think i got a little list of the things you need here it's actually pretty easy this is a i think it's a five by three area right here pretty simple and uh, you're gonna need five redstone repeaters about seven glass and about 16 blocks of choice two trap doors one hopper one chest two dispensers one bucket of lava, one bucket of water, two buttons, one lever, and a half slab. And I think I, uh, yeah, I said trap doors. So let's start this guy out. So I'm going to actually grab a few things here. We're going to grab our chest and our blocks just for now. So let's go over here. We're going to start this off with chest right here. Actually, Skippy's been slacking. Let's go ahead. I was making an Enderman farm too because a lot of people have been asking for it. So that's why that guy was there. Let's go ahead. Throw your hopper right down there once we've done this it's actually uh, pretty straightforward stuff let's start making our little uh little pulse circuit we're gonna put a block here we're gonna put a block here on the corner on the corner and on here grab yourself redstone repeater this one here two ticks this one here here and here all of these on four ticks Then what we're going to do is actually go back here where this block is placed and replace the block under it with a sticky piston. Go ahead and put a solid block on top of it. And then grab your redstone repeater, your fifth one here, and we're going to face it this way. Once you face it this way, this one has no delay whatsoever. Uh, so now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and just build up right here. One, two. Then we're going to grab ourselves a dispenser. And while we're here, we might as well grab a button. Throw your dispenser right up here. Looking good. Throw your button right here. And you'll recognize what happens now is that this is going to be double pulsing. Goes through. Only thing we're missing here is one piece of redstone dust right there. So now you'll notice we have a double pulse. Perfect. So once we've done this, you're pretty much... Uh, You've pretty much done the redstone uh, when you break it right down to it. Uh, all we have to do is start building up little bits of area. So let's go over here. Let's do this. Let's go ahead up here. We're just going to build this guy up right here as well. And then what we're going to want to do is put a dispenser right there. This dispenser right here is going to be actually pretty simple. It's just pretty much going to be this block above it with a button. So once this button's here, that's just going to be your water on and off, which you're just going to turn on and off right from the top. So now we're all about pretty much just uh, closing it in. So let's go ahead and bring up the front. Right here, right here, right here. We got these three right here. And you can mix and match uh, glass in here. Again, this is where the 
<laughs> the seven glass come into play. You can throw them around. What we are going to do is grab a half slab. And we're going to put the half slab right on top of this right there. So now what we want to do actually is grab two more solid blocks. Put it right there and there. And then this is where I guess it could get a little tricky. I'm not sure if you could actually call it tricky. But we're going to go grab this glass now. And let's start enclosing what we need to enclose. So right here is going to be right here. This is going to be where we put our pigs. So let's go ahead and put this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here as well. So now we're going to do a little trap door placement, guys. First of all, let's go ahead and put this guy right here and a lever right here. So basically the goal of this lever is to send this basically trap door up and down when needed. Uh, this was one of the trickier things that I ended up doing actually. So basically what you want to do is put this trap door on this block like that. So when you do this, it opens. But notice how it's kind of messed up. So what I recommend doing is put a block right there for now, put the trap door on it, and then looks good to me. Let's go ahead and uh, we can throw a little bit more. I threw glass on this side again right there. Once we've done this, now let's go ahead and put this block in front. A block right here. And then last but not least, a trap door right there. And guess what, guys? Now we're just going to grab some buckets. Buckets. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm on the hunt. If anybody wants to kind of direct me to, you know, anybody who has a working tutorial for a fully automatic pig farm but all the ones I saw were all semi-auto uh, so water here lava here so let's just make sure everything's working good we should get a double pulse holds on let's go that's good let's go over here make sure our water works water comes out we breed them and they leave so if you are on survival mode you're gonna be wanting to lure said pigs with a carrot it's easy enough just bring some blocks up there but since we're on creative uh, let's just go ahead and grab the pigs. I hope I haven't reached my limit, which I may very well have. Let's just put uh, six in there, hopefully. Because what happens is if we get to our limit, it's not going to breed them uh, when I attempt. So the easy way to breed it is to make sure that your door is down. Make sure the door is down. Hit the water. Breed the dudes. I'll breed the dudes. I'll breed the dudes. Put them the water down. And... Bang. So as you can see, I kind of, if we push this, you're going to be able to get that, that, there you go. See what happens? So now we hit that lever. So basically make sure you got the flow right. But like I said, this is nice and conveniently easy in your world. Again, once they grow up, you can uh, go ahead and hit this guy right here and you're good. But as you can see, it will not kill them until they're growing up. So, I mean, if you really wanted to make this even, you know, I guess you could just make this even easier by simply not easier it would still be the same thing I kind of like the maintenance of this but if you really wanted to you could also put a button here and then leave and then if you wanted to leave at this point in time then you just leave and when they grow up they'll hit there they'll drop in and you're good so pretty much yeah you could actually just go ahead and throw that button right there right now it seems like a pretty good idea if you ask me Let's go ahead and uh, put a few item frames on the build like we usually do, especially when using stone buttons. I guess we could put it everywhere if we really wanted to. And then we'll just head over here and grab one of these pork chops because it's going to go in the item frame. And there you go, guys. Don't forget to smash the like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh, some more cool tutorials. There you go. This one looks even better than that one, if you ask me. Uh, you might want to throw a few ladders up, you know, if you want to... Uh, be doing a little bit of breeding and you can actually just go ahead and throw those guys right here if you desire thanks for tuning in guys don't forget to smash the like before you go or subscribe if you're new and uh yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one